Hello everyone. Today I went to the wet market at Coven and it was a very nice experience because there are many fish stores over there. I found one of the particular fish that I like and the size is something that I don't really see. So let's check out what is the fish. The fish that we are going to feature today is what we call a sand whiting. And for this particular size of sand whiting, it's very rare to find it in Singapore. Uh, most of the time, uh, probably the whiting that I have uh, been uh, catching or been buying is probably the size of my pump. But however, now if we look at this one, from the tip of my hand, it's past the wrist and over here, oh, it's almost close to 30 centimeter. It's very, very rare to find such a size of uh, whiting. So I'm kind of excited to uh, cook them and to try them today. First, uh, let us clean the whiting. Uh, the whiting has very small and fine scales. So you can use the back of the knife and lightly scrub it like this. It will fall off nicely. Besides being excited to try this fish, I'm also excited to try this knife gifted by my friend from Finland. This is the version of a filleting knife. So let's give it a go. It's pretty sharp. I've cut the fish and these are the fillets that I have. I got to say that I'm not quite used using the knife and uh, perhaps maybe the knife is better with bigger fish. So anyway, I need more practice. So now let's sort of like sort the fish first. I'll let this uh, fish fillet rest for about 15 minutes and then uh, while waiting, let's prepare the other ingredients for today's cooking. We are going to sort of like uh, shallow fry this uh, fish fillets today and I'm preparing like two tablespoons of uh, plain flour. Then what I'm adding right now is uh, panko crumbs. You notice that my panko crumbs is a lot finer because I use the pasta and mortar to grind it down. I don't want it to be too lumpy, but yet I want to have a little bit uh, crispy mixture. After that, I sprinkle some black pepper. Just a dash of black pepper will do. Then I add in one teaspoon of garlic powder. Lastly, I add about half a teaspoon of chili powder. And this is optional. If you want a little bit of more spicy or more heat into this mixture, you can add even one teaspoon instead of half. One more ingredient that we should add is about a half teaspoon of salt. Then after that, what we will do is that we will mix this uh, mixture well. And then we are ready to start cooking the fish. Make sure that the oil is hot enough for deep frying. But um, we are doing shallow frying today because the fish fillet is uh, very thin. So there's no need to put too much oil. The other thing to note is that I have uh, rinsed the salt away from the fish. And what you do before deep frying of shallow frying is that you sort of like absorb the moisture from the fish with a paper towel so that it will not splatter too much. Then I dust it with the powder that we have uh, prepared earlier on and slowly and gently lower down this way. After frying about, say about three minutes, 
you see that it's uh, already done. You can take it out. All right. And then we can start to cook the rest of the fish fillet. Let's try this uh, white thing. Mm. I'm going to try with my homemade tata sauce. If you need a recipe for homemade tata sauce, you can refer to my past videos. Mm. White thing are very, very nice. fresh and the and the meat is sweet really love it mm. I never regret buying this giant size waiting so let me enjoy my meal this XL size sand whiting are absolutely delicious uh, about the nine that my colleague has given me a uh, well I think I need a little bit of practice with the knife Plus, I think it's more suitable for cutting up and filleting big fish. So I do hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.